Hello and welcome to Lakora Yoga. So I'm here today to talk to you about yoga mats. All the ones that I have, I do have quite a few. I'm gonna give you an honest review about them just in case you're looking for your own and you're unsure which to pick. Okay, so the first I'm gonna show you today is this one. Now this is just a cheap one. I think this cost me five pounds um, from Pound Stretcher. <laughs> okay, so it's very, very, very thin. Um, it's like this plasticky stuff. But when I bought this at five pound, I was like, oh, bargain. Let me just show you what it looks like. Is this just the smallest yoga mat or what? I'm gonna put it next to another one just so you can see the size difference. Okay, so this is the size difference. This is a normal yoga mat, my cork one, which I will talk to you about in a minute. This is the one that I got from Pound Stretcher. Um, I guess it's okay for like a little travel mat or maybe a toddler, but I can't believe the size difference. Yeah, um, so that's that one. So basically my honest opinion on this one is don't do it. Do not get a cheap yoga mat from a pound stretcher or pound land unless you can take it off and look how long it is, which I don't know if they'll actually let you do that in the store. So yeah, this one is great for little travel, but uh, don't think I'll be using it. The second mat I have is this one. Now this one is, I'm just gonna open it up to see if I can find the label on it. Toe Plus, that's it. I don't know if you can see there. Nah. Toe, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Toe Plus is that one. Um, I actually got given this one free. They they found me on Instagram, I think, and um, I think I won it on a Instagram challenge. If you are looking for yoga accessories, by the way, guys, and you love posting pictures of poses on Instagram, go do that because you can win some amazing stuff. Um, so this one is from Toe Plus. You can see it's a lot thicker than the other one. It's more foamy. The other one was a little bit more um, like plasticky. This one is foamy. Now this one I love because it's really light. So it's really good to take around with you. However, because of the foaminess, when you're doing down dog or maybe even warrior two, your feet kind of slip apart. Um, if you're doing stuff like crow pose, it's not so bad because you know your hands are just staying in one place. Um, I like this one, it's kind of my, if I wanna just quickly do yoga, then I'll grab this one. So this one was about $20, I think. Um, obviously I got it for free, but this one is around $20. Um, so yeah, it's a perfect little travel yoga mat. And if you are new to yoga and you're not sure about it, I would probably get one of these to start with. Some people actually prefer stuff like this because it actually makes the yoga poses a little bit harder because it's a bit slippy. So you can actually turn on your core more and gain more strength. So yeah, that's this one. So mat number three is this one, which is my orange one. You might have seen this in some of my videos. This one was from Amazon and it was from a shop called Bodhi, B-O-D-H-I, but I'm pretty sure that they're not on there anymore. But you can get this kind of mat. I'm gonna tr see if I can find a link and link it up in the description down below. Um, so this mat I think was about 25 pounds. Um, and I love this mat. When I first got it, it had a bit of a, um, like a, a greasy film on it is the only way I can kind of explain it. Um, and that took, honestly here, that took about a year to disappear. Um, so when I first got this mat, it was a little bit slippery because my hands were slippery, especially if you sweated, my God, you would just go flying. Um, but after a year, it's gone and now this is amazing. I love this mat, it is so grippy. Um, yeah, it's, what, it's not as grippy as some of the others I'm gonna show you, um, but I do love this mat and this mat has been hitched. Oh, actually you can see a little Bodhi sign there. Uh, this mat has been hitched by my cats. So this is the only mat I use when my cats are around because I don't want them trashing any of my others. So I do love this one, but just be warned that it is a little bit greasy when you first get it. But I'm sure if you wiped it down with some yoga cleaning stuff, it would be absolutely fine. So the fourth yoga mat is the cork yoga mat, which I know a lot of people love. I can't tell if that's backwards or not on the screen. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna give an average on prices because again, I'm not 100% sure on these. I think this one was about 60 to 70 pound. 
Um, again, I will do a bit of research and drop the link below with the actual price next to it. Um, I can't remember if this make, this particular make was going out of stock um, as I bought this one. So cork yoga mats, obviously the cork on the top, it's um, got this grippy material down the bottom. Um, and I do love it. It's a lovely mat, it looks great in photos, um, but I'm not a fan of cork. Just gonna throw that out there. I find it slippy. Um, it's not very grippy on my hands. My hands just, I think because it's so smooth, it just kind of like slips on it. So this is the cork mat. I'm kind of doing like the, the cheapest to the most expensive so that you can see the difference in these. So yeah, this one was about 50 to 60, bit slippy. Great for photos though. The next yoga mat I have is called Happy Mat. So this is vegan suede. Um, so it's kind of the same. It's got the black material down the bottom to help it stick to the floor. And then it's got this suede material on the top. Now, I love this mat. I absolutely love it. And I'll roll it out in a second and show you exactly what it looks like because it's just beautiful. Uh, but it is a little bit slippy. Again, just because it's that suede material. But also, as I mentioned before on the other mat, a lot of people like that because if you... If it's too grippy, you don't tend to work your body as much. So some people like the tiny bit of slippiness just so that they're actually turning on their muscles and engaging a little bit more. But let me roll this one out for you now and show you because it's bloody beautiful. Okay, so here is this mat. How beautiful is that? I just absolutely love it. So I think this one is from Australia and I think it was about, 80, 80 pounds, I think, but then I had to pay for um, international shipping, which ended up costing quite a bit. Um, I think in total, it's probably around 140 pound, but it is beautiful. Um, I love, love, love this mat. So my daughter also loves that mat and she tends to play Barbies on it because it's the beach scene. So <laughs> she pretends her Barbies are at the beach and then they jump in the water. So great if you've got kids as well. The next mat that I have is this white one from DI Yogi. And this mat I absolutely love. Um, it's a little bit hitched for my cats, unfortunately. But as in the name, DIY Yogi, DIY. So it's a do-it-yourself do yoga mat. You can draw on it. So again, I will just lay this one out so you can see exactly what I've done. Okay, so I've put it on top of my happy mat, but this is the DI Yogi mat. And it's great because it comes with pens. No, sorry, it doesn't come with pens. It comes with stencils. You have to buy the pens yourself. Um, but she tells you exactly what pens to get. And then you can stencil on your own design. So I absolutely love this. Um, I love that it's, I've made it, I've left it quite simple, but I like that. I love the white and I just wanted a little bit of detail on there. But this mat is so grippy. I absolutely love this mat. If you are doing something where you really need good grip, then DI Yogi is great for that. And another mat, my last one, which is the same material, I think, um, is Vaya Mudra. So this is a Vaya Mudra mat. I abs this is my all time favorite mat. Um, it's just plain black, but with that little symbol on the top. Um, this one I can rarely bring out because I do not want my cats to scratch this one, although they have a tiny bit. Um, but I absolutely love this mat. It is the first mat that I got that was grippy. So I think it is kind of the same material as the DI Yogi mat, but I got this one first, so this one will always be a favorite. Um, so yeah, if you want grippy mats, then this one and DI Yogi, I think they're both around 80 pounds. Um, I'm not sure if you have to pay shipping. I do have a discount code for Via Madra and I think one of the others. So I'll leave a link down below if you wanna go check that out. So if you are a hardcore yogi and you are really determined in nailing poses and getting the most out of your yoga practice, then I probably would recommend Via Madra um, or DI Yogi because they are really great, really grippy. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope that this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you actually have any of these mats or if you have any other recommendations. The yoga mat that I haven't got that everybody goes on about is the Life For Me ones. 
Now these ones I think might be the same material as this, but I have never tried them, so I'm not gonna give you an opinion on that. Um, but I think they are the same. I'm not saying that they are, okay? So this is just my review on the mats that I have. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.